What's up everyone, it's Simon and we are back with another unboxing. This one comes to us from the people over at BNH because they had what I was looking for on sale. If you watched the FX6 video, you know that there was things I was thinking about as far as how I wanted to change up my camera. And conveniently, one of those things was on sale. And then there was a couple other things that I wanted as well that it was just a convenient, if I'm placing an order, I'm gonna get the other things. So, what did uh, what'd we get? A, there's a lot of air bubble pushing on this one as far as the like this weird pack oh yeah that's definitely it so we got a packing material a little more packing material and even more packing material so what do we uh one item two item and three item conveniently that's exactly what i ordered so what we'll go with the good one first this is what i was really ordering um, one of the things that i talked about in my last video or in my fx6 video is that i was kind of frustrated by the oc monitor because it wasn't bright enough uh, other than that, it was an okay monitor. Uh, I also wanted SDI because I prefer having the locking inputs. Uh, that's just a personal preference. Um, and when I bought that, and also when I bought my 702 Touch from Small HD, the five inch monitors had, they'd stopped selling them for a minute. And so it wasn't available. Um, that being said, oh, it's available again, and I decided it was time to pick up a uh, Cine 5. Now, why did I go with the Cine 5? It was plenty for me on that job with the FX9, uh, the 2000 nit brightness. I know I could have gotten the 3000 with the Ultra 5, but I didn't need all of the buttons and the Cine 5 still has the joystick on the side, which is really convenient when I don't want to use the touch screen. And it has the touch screen, which is also very convenient if I want to just quickly move things. Also, it was a bit cheaper. It was like $450 cheaper or something in there. 400, 450. Either way, it was a significant price reduction compared to the Ultra. So the Cine 5 just made sense. Uh, I'm super stoked because this is a little smaller, a little more compact. It can tuck into the FX6 better than a seven inch monitor can. I'm rethinking the entirety of how I rig everything on the FX6, so I'm super stoked for this. And obviously there's other goodies in there, but I don't know if there's actually that much. We got stickers. And then, yeah, that's literally all there is in the package. All right. Well, there we go. All right, so there, Cine 5. What else did I get with it? Well, because of the fact that I do plan on using this on camera wherever, I decided that it would be smart to also pick up their, uh, their sun hood. There we go. And... It was a little more expensive than I could have probably made something for, but it uh, works really well with it and it's made for it. So it makes it easier for me to justify. And since the monitor was on sale, it uh, wasn't as a hard of a pill to swallow. So yeah, boom. We're gonna just lay that there. All right, so now let's get the sun hood out. Whoo! I don't know if Small HD uses enough plastic. I'm just kidding. They could get away with not using nearly as much plastic as they are. Because um, I don't see a reason for this to be 
in plastic in a bag. Come on, Creative Solutions. <coughs> All right, ooh, yeah. So this is pretty much the same as what they've been putting out for uh, the red monitor, if you have seen that one. Um, just kind of goes on and then screws in underneath. Pretty straightforward. I will be honest though, I kind of like the one for the seven inch monitors better because it's a little bit easier to pack up. <coughs> but it works, it does the job. We'll uh, see how things go from there. So yeah, there's Cine 5 with Sun Hood. And then what did I get over here? How do I open this one? Oh, there we go. Boom. Sweet. The, uh, the classic softy from Ryko. Now, if you've been following the channel for a long time, you would know that I used the longer version of this on the Rode NTG4. Um, I actually still have it. It's buried up there somewhere. Um, but since then, I have gone to a shorter microphone for my onboard shotgun and I wanted to upgrade from just this little windscreen to a full uh, dead cat for when it's a windier situation. I want it, I'm not going to use it all the time but I did want the correct size one for whenever it's needed. And so yeah, since I was placing an order I just tacked this on as well. Um, that's what's in this one. I am gonna do <coughs> I'm going. <coughs> 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 oh. ah. I'm going to do a separate video on why I'm going to the City Five instead of having the OCT Five Plus. Oh. I'm going to make a separate video on why I'm going front to the, the I'm going to make a separate video on why I'm going to the Cine 5 from the 702 touch which is my teleprompter monitor right now and the T5 plus back there. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. It'll be coming out shortly. Uh, I just got to rearrange all this and then film that one. So be sure you're subscribed for that video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you have anything else you want to talk to me about, hit me up over on Instagram at Simon Eisenbach. Have a great week. See you guys next time.